So one thing I posted the other day on social media was I didn't marry just for love. I married for money. Because I believe that when God says it's not good for man to be alone, you would think that I, it's not like, <laughs> you, you, you weren't ready for that. Hear me when I, 86% of millionaires are married. Sure. Yeah. When God said it is not good for man to be alone, yeah. it was right after he gave him the mandate yeah. to go forth in the earth and to produce, to take over, to reign. And it was soon after that moment, God said, it's not good for man to be alone, which meant that God was not giving Adam a helpmate just for companionship. Yeah. He was giving Adam a helpmate so he could help him build. You need a woman who can help you build, yeah. who can help you take the vision that God has given you mm -hmm. and take it to the next level. Yeah. So when I say I didn't just marry for love, I married yeah. for money because I was marrying someone who was going to help me yeah. make money, sure. who was going to help me produce, who would help me steward in the seasons of abundance, help yeah. me sacrifice in the seasons of, of hardship, <laughs> who will help me pray when we don't know what to do, <laughs> who will help me go out and see opportunities. When, like, I need a woman yeah. who's my partner. I don't need, a, I don't need yeah. just a love partner. I need a purpose partner. That's what you're looking for. So the moment you are initially attracted as a man, yeah. the next thing you've got to check mark is, is there purpose here? Go into the Bible. When God said that whole term of, I want to help create a helpmate who is suitable for you. Yeah. This is something we teach in our program. That word suitable has been replaced with compatible. And if you look at the Webster dictionary definition of compatibility versus suitability, it's drastically two different definitions. Compatibility is the ability to be with one person without any conflict or problems. Wow. Yeah, because you're, com compa you're, you're compact in there. What was large, not compact? You're, I get it. I'll ask you this question. Yeah. Is there any relationship that has any problems or conflict? Of course, all the time, especially when you're compact. Exactly. <laughs> so compatibility yeah. is not the basis of the relationship. Yeah. Compatibility are the things that cause relationships to overflow. Yeah. It's the things that cause you to be like, dang, yeah. man, we really just get along. We yeah. laugh at the same yeah. things, we enjoy the same music, but those should not be the foundational decision makers for that marriage. It's the things that just make the relationship gravy. Mm -hmm. Icing on the cake, ooh, man, we got, and, that, and not everything will be yeah. the things that cause you to be compatible. But then if you go into what God said in the Bible, I'm gonna create a helpmate who is suitable mm -hmm. for you. Suitable, if you look at the definition, the dictionary definition of suitability is right or fit for purpose. Right or fit for purpose. Make sure we put the, the <laughs> graphic right here. <laughs> right or fit for purpose. Okay. So suitability should be the initial thing you're checking the box on, which is, is this person fit for purpose? Yeah. Can we build together? Yeah. Are we going in the same direction? Are we equally yoked? Do what we call have non-negotiable qualities about one another that are like, yo, these, yeah. she loved Jesus. Yeah. Hey, this woman has the ability to be frugal. She's not out here just being frivolous and spending all, because I can't, yeah. do, what are the non-negotiable? And then you move into the compatible things. Mm -hmm. And we both like going to the movies. Yeah. We both love hiking. Yeah. Like these are the things that make the relationship fun and enjoyable. So suitable first. Suitable first. <laughs>